Hi there, my zealots. This is Joshua the Heretic coming at you today. Hey, what's up? So, um, oh, my hair is a myth. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's fix that. There we go. We're good. All right. So, I wanted to cover today something that we just recently covered in um, women being single, but I wanted to go into more detail for you. We're going to go into Isaiah 4. Isaiah 4. Now, when you go into Isaiah 4, there's a lot of pre context here, uh, and it starts basically in Isaiah 3.16, and then it goes all the way down to uh, 4, all the way down, right before 5 starts, and it's a huge thing. But I want to just skip, I, I just want to show you that when I say that it is a sin for women to be single, single, it is a sin for women to be single. If there is a righteous man to marry, that woman should marry that righteous man. If a woman for if they if a righteous woman uh, refuses to marry, then she sins because she's supposed to be the helper of a man. Um, and if women find that there are not enough righteous men, like i.e., there's one woman for every man, then they need to find one of those righteous men and marry him, regardless of how many wives he has. And I have evidence to support this in Isaiah four. And it says, and I'm going to go, basically, this is this is all prophetic of the coming end times. And ironically, we're about to go into the end times. And I, what's cool about this is basically it's foretelling that the, the, it has never been uh, overtly written that women should forbid, like, can avoid marriage. It's never. Because women always knew that they should be married. There was no need for it. But here is a prophecy of a time when women refuse to marry. And when they refuse to marry, then this sin kicks in. And like the only, uh, the, the only way to uh, overcome that sin or the only way to get past that sin is to marry. And it, it's, it's really interesting, okay? And, and like I said, this is a foretelling of the future. This is a prophetic thing. And there will be a time where women are so... Um, so uh, independent from men, completely independent from men, that they feel that they don't need a man. And in doing so, they commit the sin of not being willing to submit to a man. Okay. Um, and it basically it talks about, it's basically fulfillment of modern day, if you read this, and I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I only usually do five minutes, but it basically, let me, let me hit the, <laughs> Let me hit the, uh, the the high points here. And it says, uh, In that day the Lord shall take away the bravery of the tinkling of the ornaments of the, about their feet, and then the calls around the tires of the moons, the chains, the bracelets, the mufflers, the bonnets, the ornaments the, on the legs, the headbands, the tablets, the earrings, the rings, the nose jewels, changing of suits, apparel, mantles, wimples, crisping pins, the glasses, the very fine linen, the hoods, the veils, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there should be a stink and uh, instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of a hair, a baldness, instead of a stomacher, a girdling sackcloth, a burning instead of beauty. <laughs> and men shall fall by the sword, and many mighty men in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she shall be desolate and sit upon the ground. And in that day, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, I will, we will eat of our own apparel uh, and wear our, or, sorry, we will eat of our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So these women realize they have totally missed the boat. They are completely way off in left field and they're like, oh my gosh, God, forgive me for my sins. I will marry a righteous man. I don't even, this guy doesn't even want me, but I'm like, listen, I will take care of myself. Just let me take you as my husband so I have no more sin in front of God. That's how bad it's going to get. And and you look at modern day women, how they refuse to submit to men. This prophecy, it, no, never in all of human history have women been as rebellious as they are today. Never. So, the only cure for that rebelliousness is polygamy. And it says it right here. The only way to get rid of your sin of independence, women, your sin of independence, that the only way to get rid of it is to marry. 
and it's to marry a righteous man. And if there are no righteous men that are monogamous, then you become polygamist. It is that simple. So in that small <laughs> perspective, polygamy forgives independence, the sin of women's independence. So polygamy forgives sin. I'm just saying. It says it right there. <laughs> I mean, it's a narrow perspective, but still, it's, it's, it's true. It is a true thing. Uh, polygamy can forgive... Uh, can forgive women's sin of independence. Now, I'm going to head out. I have a new Patreon, and it's uh, Patreon at, uh, oh, what is it? Patreon at Joshua the Zealot, if you want to look me up, Joshua the Zealot on Patreon. Um, not only that, uh, but on Saturdays, I have a live stream at 10 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, and everybody is welcome to show up and ask whatever questions you want, and I will answer as many of them as I possibly can. Anyway, I will talk at you later. You know I love you because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Peace, love, and grooviness forever. Bye-bye.